Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I want to share with you some tips on how you can prepare your watercolor palette for your sketching or painting trip overseas, which can last for several days. And the things you need are a permanent marker with fine point, watercolor paint, of course, empty pens, they can be full pens or half pens, and an empty watercolor box. Some brands of watercolor paint are formulated to be extra soft so that they are easier to re-wet and those paint can be quite difficult to dry properly or they will take a much longer time to dry. So listed by the side are some of the brands that I know of that have difficulty drying in pens. There is Mission Go, Jackson's Art Watercolor, which is actually a rebrand of Sennelier Watercolor. White Knights, Stephen Quiller, and there is My Marie Blue. This brand is actually all right. It's just that it takes much longer to dry. When you have paint that is difficult to dry inside a pan, after you paint with them, the paint will be wet again, and it's going to take a long time for the paint to dry again. Some brands that I know that are great for squeezing or pouring into pans are Daniel Smith, Winston Newton, Schminker is good, but it will take a bit more time for the paint to dry. By the way, if you know of any other paint or brands that are good or bad for use in pans, share with me and others in the comment section below. Before you squeeze paint into the pans, make sure to write the name of the color and the pigment on the side first. Make sure you write the pigment because color names are not unique, but pigment code is. When filling the pans with paint, I like to fill it to one third first, not fill it all the way to the brim. I will wait for the first squeeze or the first pour to dry. And most paint will actually shrink in size and they will actually create gaps. So for the second pour, I will squeeze the paint into the gaps and the paint will shrink again after drying a second time and lastly for the third pour I will fill to the brim. If I see any binder as I squeeze the paint out, I would actually just squeeze the binder into my rubbish bin. But if there isn't much binder, I would just mix the binder with the paint with a paper clip. You know how sometimes the paint would rush out and go into the cap? That is really quite troublesome. So I will use the paper clip or a toothpick to move the paint into the pan. I don't like gaps in the paint because they can trap water. And if there is water inside the gaps, the water will take much longer to dry compared to water that is on the surface. If your watercolor box is not completely dry when you keep it in your bag, the paint may float out of the box and create a mess. If I'm painting at home, I don't mind the gaps, but even so, I will try to avoid gaps because they trap water. If the paint takes too long to dry, mold can grow. And unfortunately for me, I have a long history with mold growth on watercolor paint. If I'm bringing the watercolor box overseas, I will make sure there are no gaps. It will take several days for the paint to dry, and even if the surface looks dry, it will be good to test and see whether the interior is dry. So this was poured yesterday, and you can see it's still quite soft. If the paint is still soft, the paint can actually break through the surface and create a mess. One way to speed up the drying process is to have your pens in your watercolor box, close it, and put the box under sunlight. So the sunlight and heat will dry the paint much faster. If I'm really rushing to dry the paint, sometimes I would put it on my external SSD, which runs really hot. If I use heat to dry the pan, it will take about a week to dry this completely. And since I use three separate pores, each pore will take about two days to dry with heat. If I just leave the pans out like this to dry, it will take maybe one and a half weeks to two weeks to dry this completely. And the drying time will vary depending on your climate. So if you are in a drier climate, it's going to dry faster and slower if you are in a humid climate. It is possible to prepare extra pans as backup for your sketching trip. All you have to do is to wrap the dried pans with wax paper. 
And this is the type of wax paper that's used to wrap greasy food and sweets. This is six by six inches. If the paper is too big, you can always cut it down to size. Just make sure the watercolor pen is completely dry before you wrap it. And after you wrap it, do write the name of the color and the pigment on it. And you can wrap this and just use tape to tape this up. For me, a 12 half pan watercolor metal box like this can last for a week of sketching. And you can use a mix of half pans and full pans. For colors that you use often, you may want to use full pans. For colors that you use less often or secondary colors, you may want to use half pans for those. There are actually boxes where the middle row is white enough for you to put more colors such as this one here, but this one is too narrow. So for this, I can actually pack in more colors. And you can actually squeeze up to seven half pens in a row. You just have to push the pen all the way to the edge. If you are ordering watercolor boxes online, you will not know whether the box will have extra space in the middle row for extra pens or colors. And if you are ordering watercolor boxes online, try to look for a box with three mixing wells instead of just two. So for my overseas sketching trips, I prefer to bring smaller boxes and this is a good size. This is a really nice box with six mixing wells and it can hold a lot of colors up to 24 half pans, but this is bigger, but it's not much bigger. So this is pretty good as well. But my main watercolor box for sketching overseas is actually the portable painter because I like the water trays that you can attach by the side. But the downside to this box is it can only hold half pans and not full pans or a combination of half pans and full pans. As for color selection, it's really up to you. When in doubt, you can always include more primary colors. You can include cool, mid and warm versions of yellow, red and blue. For watercolor boxes that already come with colors pre-selected for you, you may want to swap out the black and white and replace them with more primary colors. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to check out reviews for the watercolor paint, the boxes and other art supplies, visit the links that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.